Hello children, welcome to Early Birds. My name is Gyan. Today we will talk about vectors. So the first question is, what are vectors? In our previous classes, we have learned that there are some physical quantities which have magnitude only. On the other hand, there are some physical quantities which have magnitude as well as direction. So the physical quantities which have magnitude only are called scalars. For example, mass, time, temperature, etc. On the other hand, the physical quantities which have magnitude as well as direction are called vectors. For example, force, momentum, velocity, acceleration, etc. A vector is represented by a letter, let's say A, and an arrow over it, like this. Arrow points from left to right. Magnitude of a vector is represented by either mod A or simply A. Magnitude is a positive scalar. It is always positive. Let us talk about geometrical representation of vectors. Suppose an object has started from point A. From point A, it is moving to point B, from B to C and finally from C to D. So its displacement vector will be represented by AD where A was the starting point and D was the final point. I have represented vector AD here. Point D is called as head or tip and point A is called as tail or toe of the vector. Let us see unit vector. A unit vector is defined as the ratio of a vector to its magnitude. Suppose A is the vector which is 7 units in magnitude and this is the direction. Then A unit will be 7 divided by 7 that is 1 unit and the direction will remain the same. So it is represented by this symbol vector A and this symbol that is unit vector symbol. This is read as cap, hat or carrot. So A unit will be vector A divided by mod A. So it will be one unit in magnitude and the direction will remain the same as the original vector. Now let us talk about addition of two vectors. Addition of two vectors follows the triangle law of addition. As per triangle law of vector addition, two vectors, vector A and vector B are to be added in such a fashion that tip of first vector and tail of second vector must coincide. And the resultant of addition of vector A and vector B will be, its tail will coincide with the tail of first vector and its head will coincide with the head of second vector. So, this will be the resultant of addition of these two vectors. So, R, vector R will be equal to vector A plus vector B. Before moving ahead with the addition of two vectors, let us see angle between two vectors. Two vectors can be connected either tail to tail or head to tail or head to head. In first and third case, when they are connected tail to tail or head to head, the angle is considered theta. However, when the vectors are connected head to tail, angle is not theta between them but 180 minus theta. How to get this angle? You need to produce one of the vectors. So the angle formed between produced vector and another vector will be 180 minus theta which is 180 minus theta here. So this angle will be 180 minus theta that will be considered the angle between two vectors when they are connected head to tail. Now let us find out magnitude and direction of resultant vector R when two vectors A and B are added. In this figure, this is vector A, this is vector B and this is resultant vector R when A and B are added. Alpha is the angle between two vectors A and B as the case here when they are connected head to tail so the angle between them will be the angle formed between extended vector and another vector that is alpha here. We need to find out magnitude of R and the angle theta that it makes with one of the vectors. So let us start. In right angle triangle PMO we will write in right angle triangle PMO PO is R sin theta. PO is R sin theta. This is 
first relation and MO is R cos theta. This is second relation. Similarly, in right angle triangle P and O, PO is B sin alpha, this is third relation, and NO is B cos alpha, this is fourth relation. From first and third relation, PO is R sin theta and PO is B sin alpha. So we can say R sin theta is equal to B sin alpha. We will write here. This is fifth relation. And from two and four, MO is MO is MN plus NO means A plus B cos alpha and that is equal to R cos theta. R cos theta is equal to A plus B cos alpha. This is sixth relation. Now squaring both the sides of 5 and both the sides of 6. So we will get R square sin square theta is equal to B square sin square alpha and R square cos square theta is equal to A plus B cos alpha whole square. Now adding left hand side as well as right hand side. So left hand side when you add you will get R square sin square theta plus R square cos square theta taking R square as common sin square theta plus cos square theta will be 1 so on the left hand side you will be left with R square and on the right hand side B square sin square alpha plus A plus B cos alpha whole square so you will get B square sin square alpha plus A plus B cos alpha whole square you will get b square sin square alpha plus a plus b whole square will be a square plus b square cos square alpha plus 2ab cos alpha b square sin square alpha plus b square cos square alpha will be b square so rearranging the terms you will get a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha and that is r square. So r will be under root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos alpha. Now we will find out the angle theta. Now divide equation 5 by equation 6. So what you will get? r sin theta upon r cos theta is equal to B sin alpha upon A plus B cos alpha. R, R will get cancelled. So sin theta upon cos theta will be tan theta. That is equal to B sin alpha upon A plus B cos alpha. Or theta is equal to tan inverse B sin alpha upon A plus B cos alpha. So we have got the magnitude of vector R as R is equal to under root A square plus B square plus 2AB cos alpha and the theta, the angle it makes with one of the vectors is tan inverse B sin alpha upon A plus B cos alpha. Now we will see three important conclusions from this. First point is vector addition is commutative. What does it mean? Vector A plus vector B will be seen as vector B plus vector A. In this figure, vector B is added to vector A, so you will get the resultant as R is equal to A plus B here. In second figure, 
vector A is added to vector B. So you will get the resultant R is equal to B plus A. And you can see R is the same vector here in this figure as well as in this figure. So vector addition is commutative. Second point is value of R will be maximum when cos alpha is 1 or alpha is equal to 0 degree. Means both the vectors A and B are in the same direction. So value of R in that case will be R maximum will be under root A square plus B square plus 2AB means under root A plus B whole square or A plus B. So maximum value of the resultant vector will be A plus B. Minimum value of the R will be when cos alpha is minus 1 means both the vectors are in opposite direction. In that case R minimum will be under root A square plus B square minus 2AB that is under root A minus B whole square or R minimum will be A minus B or B minus A means magnitude of A minus B. Third point is if vector A and B are coplanar then R will also be coplanar. What does it mean? Suppose board is my plane. So vector A and vector B are in board plane. So resultant of addition of A and B will also be in the board plane. If they are not in the same plane, then R will also not be in the same plane, means will not be coplanar. Now let us understand the addition of more than two vectors. So addition of more than two vectors follows polygon law of vector addition, which is nothing but the extension of triangle law of vector addition. Let us see. Suppose these are vectors AB, BC, CD and D and the resultant is vector AE which is represented by R. Then the tail of the resultant vector will be the tail of first vector and head of the resultant vector will be the head of the last vector. So this will be the resultant vector in case of addition of more than two vectors. If these vectors are coplanar, then resultant vector will also be coplanar. If these are not coplanar, then the resultant vector will not be coplanar. Now let us understand subtraction of two vectors. So vector A minus B can be rewritten as vector A plus of in bracket minus B. So what does it mean? It means vector A has to be added with vector B with the direction reversed. So vector, suppose the vector A is here, vector B is this. Then vector A this plus B with the direction reversed will be minus B like this. And it will be added to A plus of minus B, you will get resultant R and R will be A minus B. In the next video, we will talk about resolution of vectors and product of vectors. If you have a question, you can ask me on my Discord server. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please do so.